ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, is a disease that disrupts the communication between the brain and muscles of the body. This lack of instruction from the brain causes the muscles to break down over time, losing its function, and can eventually lead to paralysis. While there are no cures, intensive research is being dedicated to understanding and treating this disease. And in this video, we will be discussing the causes of ALS. First, it is important to note that there are two types of ALS, sporadic and familial. Sporadic is more common of the two types and is seen in 90 to 95% of patients diagnosed with ALS. Familial ALS is inherited and is only seen in 5 to 10% of all ALS cases. While the causes of sporadic ALS is still unknown, there are known facts about familial ALS that are helping to direct current research. Certain risk factors such as age, sex, and genetics affect the likelihood of ALS. The probability of developing ALS increases with age and is most common between 40 and 60 years of age. Sex is a risk factor before the age of 65 and is usually more common in men than women. However, this discrepancy is not as evident over the age of 70. Genetics are also a risk factor as similar genetic variation is found between individuals with ALS. There are about 25 genes that have been found to potentially be linked with the ALS disease and are constantly investigated by molecular biologists. Certain variations in these genes, coding for specific proteins, seem to be common across individuals with ALS. In particular, when a gene named SOD1 is mutated, the protein it makes loses its function, which causes an increase in free radical damage to cells in the body. Think of it as an error at the level of instruction, leading to an error in the final product, ultimately causing the final product to perform incorrect tasks. These types of ongoing genetic research on corresponding genes help to direct further research in understanding the possible causes of ALS. Another avenue of exploration in ALS includes the methods in which a malfunctioning immune system can potentially lead to this disease. One explanation contributes to a gene mutation that changes neural activity in the human body, resulting in an unprovoked immune response. This response can cause the immune system to attack its own body, killing nerve cells, ultimately disrupting its communication. Another possible explanation involves a mutation that can lead to glutamate toxicity. Glutamate is a powerful excitatory neurotransmitter that is released from the brain and can be found in high concentrations near neurons of individuals with ALS. Excessive exposure to glutamate damages nerve cell structure and is seen as one of the reasons these cells tend to die in ALS. Lastly, ALS can also be a result of incorrect protein processing by nerve cells, meaning that abnormal protein accumulates in the body and contributes to cell death. While there are multiple genetic causes of ALS that are supported by scientific research, the environmental causes are not as well understood. We do not know what specific lifestyle changes decrease the risk of developing ALS, however links have been found between ALS and exposure to mechanical and electrical trauma, military service, high levels of exercise, excessive exposure to chemical and heavy metals, as well as smoking. It is also possible that these environmental factors work simultaneously with genetics to increase the individual's chance of developing ALS. I hope this video gave you more insight on what is known about the development and understanding the causes of ALS. There are many other videos about ALS on this channel, so be sure to check them out to learn more. Also, here are some quick links you can use for more information about the disease and to donate to ALS research.